YouTube. All right, last night on uh, Jeff C's show, we uncovered, uh, thanks to one of his uh, users in chat, um, found an article in the Times of Israel where Jewish owners recently sold Paris's Bataclan Theater, where IS killed dozens. Well, I'm sure other people are going to go on to cover the rest of that article. Uh, thanks to Crystal Blankenheim for this article. I'm I'm leaning towards this being uh, a human piece, uh, like a media spin on all of this. Uh, I think they're trying to uh, cause a little fear porn and paranoia in the French Jewish community. Um, again, I think it's a destabilization piece. I should come up with a new intro graphic for anti-news. <clears throat> but anyway, that aside, yeah, they're, they're making references and drawing um, similarities between uh, France and Israel all of a sudden. Like, it's like living in Israel, says Selim. He intended to be at the soccer match at Stade de France on Friday night, but instead went to a movie which was interrupted in the wake of the four. I mean, anybody can say that uh, after an event goes down. It's like living somewhere else where there's violence. Uh, <laughs> anyway, again, like I said, be careful of spin. Um Yeah, see, the Jewish community already on high alert ahead of several planned high-profile events Sunday had been told, oh, had been told that after several minor attacks in France this month, a large terrorist event was thought to be on the horizon. Oh, so now the Jewish community gets some kind of a warning. Um, it's the same kind of stigma associated with how, you know, the the Jewish community was somehow alerted to 9-11 and didn't go to work that day and you know there's all kinds of you know there's all kinds of uh, information regarding that I, th I I sense a similar kind of a spin here it's almost <clears throat> as I said play by play it's going down exactly like 9-11 did um, and here's yet another another nugget that shows that they're using the exact same MO anyway guys I just thought I'd share that with you. Uh, we uh, when we look at these things. We have to look at the reasons why things are happening. So that's the only way we can figure out what's coming on down the road. Okay, guys, um, uh, I'll keep going here and uh, peace out. As desperate as that sounds, yeah, yeah. Take these walls and rip them, rip them.